Okay, thanks for joining the video. Today, we are going to let Midjourney drive the car, and we're going to play around with something called S-Ref Random. So what this means is, you know, you probably have played with the S-Ref command where you're actually giving Midjourney an image, or uh, and you want to use that image as a style reference, which is what S-Ref stands for. But in this case, we're going to type in S ref random and mid journey is going to choose the style reference for us. So this gives us a really fun and unexpected and completely unpredictable result. So I've got a prompt already set up. I'm just going to paste it in just to save time here in the video. And this is going to be a great white shark logo. So let's say you're doing some logo for a sports team or something, and or you're just goofing around and you want to see what mid journey will actually do. Uh, so we're going to do uh, dash dash s ref s r e f random. Just that's just it, right? And then of course we want to see a whole bunch of stuff. So let's do stylize uh, 0, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, and 1,000. And that gives us tons of different uh, images that we're going to create all at once. And we'll just see what happens, right? So I'm just going to hit the return key. And it's going to start the magic. And of course, you can see here, it gives you the SREF uh, reference number. Wherever it pulled this from, you can see these are all different for each of these different uh, images we're going to make. And we can probably use this later. But, you know, for right now, it's generating our images and we don't know what these are going to come out like. But one of the things I really like about Midjourney is it organizes all of our images based on the style. So this is style zero, this is 100, this is 200, 300, and all the way up, right? So let's just do a, uh, is it finished? Yep, it's about finished. So let's just look at these, and we'll scroll up from zero all the way up. Um, I don't know if you see any of these that you like. Uh, this one... Uh, is very minimal. That's kind of nice. Uh, these are kind of colorful and sporty. Kind of like a pointy nose, more like a Mako, though. But check these out. These are kind of the evil genius looking sharks. Uh, here's one that's kind of nice. Very sporty looking. Uh, these are very mean and aggressive. Uh, this is more of a scene. Check these out. These are kind of nice. I like the, the subtle peach colors. These are kind of cartoony looking, you know. Um, all right, pretty good. So which of these did you like the best? Um, I don't know. I kind of like this one. That's kind of nice. And let's scroll down here. And where was this one? I like this one the best, I think. Um, but, you know, it, it's kind of, I don't like the face. So what do we do? We can always improve it. So we'll do very subtle, very strong. And now we got... Um, some more images coming, and then maybe we'll get something that looks a little nicer that'll be good for us. So, you know, um, anyway, so Mid Journey allows you to really create and iterate quickly. And if sometimes, if you don't know where you want to start, just try the S ref random and just roll the dice and see what you get. And um, let's check these out. Did we get a better one? Yeah, I like that one better. So, all right. Well, hey, thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, hit us up. Uh, would love for you guys to subscribe to the Mid Journey Experience newsletter. This is a newsletter that comes out every single week with tips and tricks just like this. And if you want to learn how to use Mid Journey better, especially if you're a creative designer, this is a really great way to get that information. So thanks a lot. Talk to you soon.